All right. Hi, everybody. This is Kim here. Uh, welcome to creating your TikTok account tips and tricks. So I've been trying to make this video now for a week. I'm, I've switched to a different screen recorder. So we're going to see if this works. I'm using Loom now. I decided I'm just not going to be able to use Camtasia because Camtasia and Apple don't play nice together. And that's for some reason, if you throw PowerPoint into the mix, it just really screws everything up. So we're going to try this, see if it works. Let's get started. All right, creating your TikTok account, tips and tricks. First bit of recommendation that I'm going to give you, creating your TikTok account basics, best practices, use a personal account. They used to call it a creator account, but um, now, they're, now TikTok is calling it a personal account. Don't start with a business account. And there's a couple of reasons why. Uh, it used to be that you could put your link in your bio on your business account um, and your personal account you had to get up to a thousand followers in order to do that now TikTok has changed its terms of use so it doesn't matter whether you're using a business account or a personal account you have to get to a thousand followers regardless so you might as well use a personal account then you're going to have access to all the trending sounds and music and honestly, I don't know why anyone would want to use a business account unless you were running ads. And I don't think TikTok's a great platform to run ads on because nobody really pays attention to the ads. So just go with a personal account and you'll have access to all those trending sounds and trending music. And, you know, you'll just be able to, um, to grow your account so much faster. All right. Second, privacy considerations. So you're going to want to set some privacy considerations in your settings. Um, so to do that, you're going to go to the hamburger. Now the hamburger is in the upper right hand corner of your screen. Uh, they call it a hamburger because it's got the three little lines. So it's bun, bun and meat in the middle. Right. Um, I know it's kind of silly, but um, kind of looks like a hamburger. So that's where you're going to go. You're going to click on that and then go to account settings and privacy and privacy. Okay, then what you're going to do is you're going to set your account settings like these two screenshots right here. So suggest your account to others and sync contact and Facebook friends. Turn those all off. Now, I didn't know about this until someone else showed me, but really it makes sense. You don't want TikTok to access um, you know, or to suggest your TikTok account to your Facebook friends. So you don't want to have TikTok suggest your account to people interested in accounts like yours either. Um, just turn those all off. And then the next thing you're going to want to do is to turn on two-step verification. This will keep your account secure so it won't get hacked. So again, you're going to click on the hamburger in the upper right-hand corner. Uh, remember, bun bun meat in the middle that's your hamburger and then go to account security and login and then two-step verification you're going to have to supply two methods of verification usually a phone number or an email address right okay so those two settings going to keep your account secure and um and kind of locked down now the next thing you're going to want to do is to create your profile and your bio so there's five parts to your profile one is your name, okay? That should include niche-related keywords. So mine is learn and earn with Kim. So learn and earn are those keywords, right? Kim is not a keyword, but because um, that's my name, but learn and earn, those are going to be keywords. And then two, your username. So your username you cannot change. So once you select your username for your account, that is what your username is going to be. You can change your name, not your username. If you want a different username, you got to start a new account. That should also reflect your brand. So for me, Learn and Prosper, that's kind of on everything that I have. So um, Learn and Prosper is my brand and your username should reflect that. Number three, your tagline. So your tagline, uh, mine is helping folks achieve success in affiliate marketing. You should identify who you are, what it is you do, and who you're trying to help, okay? Like mine does. So affiliate marketing is what I do. I help folks, and then I help them to achieve success in affiliate marketing, okay? 
Number four is your clickable link. So your clickable link is going to be whatever your link is. Once you get to a thousand followers, as I said previously, you're going to be able to put your link in your bio. So that is going to take your viewers or your audience to whatever your profile is or your landing page or your website, uh, YouTube channel, whatever it is you're trying to drive traffic to. So, um, so that's going to be that clickable link. And then five is your headshot. So it should be um, uh, in focus, uh, nicely lit, and then um, you can play with the background. So if you want to know how I did my headshot with the little um, gradient background, I'm going to show you that next. So to do that, you can go to Profile Picture Maker, and here's the link right here. Um, you can knock the background out of your headshot and then create a new design. So it's very simple. You just upload your picture and then um, click a couple of settings. You can change the background color. You can change the design. A lot of things you can do and then select the one that you want and then download that. So be sure to download it um, or else Profile Picture Maker will kick all the, um, the samples um, they'll they'll discard them all after it's been processed. And I also want to add that this is free to use for anyone. So um, take advantage of that. It's a lot of fun. Okay, so now we're going to get into tips for creating content on TikTok. Number one, tell your story. People love it when you tell your story. So you want to talk about what your life was like before you got started, how it changed, and then how you changed as a result. That's going to be a very compelling story and people are going to want to hear that. They're also going to want you to be authentic. So they're going to respond to you better if you're real and authentic in your tone and delivery, kind of like you're having a conversation with your audience. Um, people are going to want to um, or need to know, like, and trust you before they're going to want to buy from you. So if you're, um, if you're trying to promote products, just remember that. It's all about relationships. It's all about building trust. Then the next thing, stand out from the crowd. Now, there might be a thousand other people on TikTok trying to promote the same product that you're promoting, right? Especially, um, I'm looking at you legendary marketer folks, uh, there's a lot of people promoting the 15-Day Business Builder Challenge. So how do you stand out from the crowd? Well, basically, folks are coming to see you. Your audience knows, likes, and trusts you. So that's how you're going to be able to stand out. So I'm going to talk a little bit about your content um, or how to create original content here in a minute. It's you. So rely on your own talents to attract your audience. So, and the other thing is, Try to be humble. Don't portray yourself as an expert because your audience is not. You don't want to put yourself out there as some kind of a guru because you're going to turn a lot of people off. You're documenting your own journey from your beginner status to the marketer you are now. So you want to talk about the hurdles you've had to overcome, um, some of the barriers some of the things that you struggled with, and then what have been your successes or your milestones, you know, those, those little wins. Talk about those, talk about your goals, where you want to go, and then document your story along the way. Also, talk normally. Don't try to sound like you're a used car salesman. I know, I've done that, it doesn't work. And then also, don't talk in a monotone. You want to be engaging. Use hand gestures, inflection in your voice. And also, use eye contact. Um, and don't mumble. People aren't going to be responding to you if you're not looking at them. So remember, you're having a conversation with your audience. That's super important. I would say don't overthink your content, right? Um, if it doesn't get a lot of views, that's okay. Don't delete it. Just keep creating content. Look at what's already worked and then create content around that. But don't overthink it. And here's something that you can try, and I, I, do, I do this a lot. I'll be out, maybe have an idea about something. So if you can, whip your phone out and record it. If you're not in a place where you can actually record it, 
um, just do you know just do a voice recording into your phone and then um, with your idea and then when you get home or to a place where you can do the recording then go ahead and do your recording so but you want to capture those moments those ideas when you have them just stay flexible all right and talking about that method or a process you want to create a schedule for creating your content so one thing that may help you I have a resource for you it's the content creation topic wheel so it's in my content creation bootcamp folder that's on my Google Drive there's a link in the group that you can actually access um, and then I have a template in there that you can use and then a sample that'll show you how to use it also in my content creation bootcamp video that's on my YouTube channel that also has a, um, a, a tutorial as to how to use this particular um, template so uh, take advantage of that the other tip I have for you is to batch your content on the weekends so when you do have time take an afternoon get your music lined up get your props lined up get everything figured out how you're going to record your sounds video don't worry about text on the screen just record them so once you have the videos done you can just throw them into your draft folder and then just keep going so you could probably do in an afternoon in two to three hours at least 20 videos if you have everything lined up and ready to go um, so think about doing that that way you're going to have a whole week's worth of work worth of video worth of content that you could upload during the week and you're gonna get two to three videos a day out of that another thing that I would recommend is to keep track of what you've done now obviously TikTok is gonna have all that stuff in your profile but then you can take the link from your video and put it into a spreadsheet then you'll have that uh, the date created along with any other notes um, you know like like special music or effects that you might have used and then how many views it got was that effective obviously you can go back into TikTok but this way you don't have to go into TikTok you can just look at that spreadsheet so just a tip for you all right do your research here's the next thing what I do is I look for accounts that are either in my niche or even not in my niche there's a lot of times I'll find something you know that's not in my niche that I just love and so I will use that video for research and I will study it so the other thing that you can do is the with those accounts that you really like you can use a sort for TikTok feature it's a Chrome extension and you can sort an account from the highest number of views to the lowest and then study what sounds are they using what text are they using what kind of headline the hook right is there music is the person just talking on the camera is there text on screen what kind of call to action are they using their hashtags so study those things and think about how you can incorporate that into your own videos now I also have a spreadsheet on my in my Google Drive folder the same content creation bootcamp folder linked in the group you can actually record all of those videos that you like and then um, create a record for each one and put in the date it was created the number of views that it got who the creator was who, who the account holder is and then keep track of those and then if you do create content similar to that video you can actually post the link in there too so there's a template for that spreadsheet in the Google Drive folder the content creation bootcamp folder and then there's also a sample so that you can see what I've done with it so you can use these ideas to create your own content but don't copy it don't plagiarize it put your own spin on it right all right last word for creating content again I've said it before I'll say it again just be yourself okay don't try to be you know this this guru or try to um, impress people just speak with passion with enthusiasm and with confidence and then talk about how you benefited from the product that you're promoting where you were before and how your life changed as a result use different camera angles do wide shots close-ups lean into the camera for effect also take advantage of TikTok's effects there's green screen effects there's um, other things that you can use try them out you know just play around with them see what you can do you can use image stickers or video stickers green screen effects you can also use it as a background or a backdrop and then lastly find those trending sounds and music before they go viral right so that you are on the upward swing 
of that trend, not on the downward swing. So you can find them before they go viral by using an app called Trend Talk. Now right now it's for iPhone only, but it is going to be available for Android in the very near future. So you can go in there, you can find sounds that you like, and you can save them to your favorites folder and then use them later on. Another tip that I have for you, when you find a video that you like, right away, Take the sound in that video and save it to your favorites folder so you can go back and find it later. I use that all the time and then I'll go ahead and create content on that sound and save it to my drafts folder. I hope all of these tips and tricks have helped. If you like this video, be sure to hit that like button and subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much everybody for watching this video and go out and create some TikTok content. 